All right. Now I got something to talk about in sports. From the NFL, word has it Cleveland Browns uh, top executive uh, Sashi Brown got fired. Now, that's not really a surprise to me because Cleveland, they've, they're having a losing season this season. And um, they haven't won a game yet. Or they have they yet to win a game. One game. At least one game. Now, I would have thought they would have ended in the same position as San Francisco 49ers. But 49ers won two games this season. So they 49ers are, they have a losing record, but better than the Cleveland Browns. Hopefully they don't go winless this season. Like the Detroit Lions years ago when they went 0-16. Now, they're going to really, really have to change the coaches. But uh, according to this article, they fired the Mr. Brown and they kept the coach. Now, if I was a team owner, I would have just fired the, one of the executives and, and the coach, too. Because, I mean, when you have a losing record or a losing season, what's the point of keeping the coach? I mean, the coach is just going to tell, give out the same plays that hasn't worked all season. And the same directions to the players that haven't worked for them. Or the players are not really obeying his uh, orders. Or they, they have a hard time adapting to his uh, coaching style. So what's the point of keeping the coach? I'm still, it just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I would have fired the coach and the executive at the same time. But hey. Maybe they find something in the coach that um, that has worked, but so far, with an O and I think thirteen O O and fourteen record, something tells me the coaching is not has not worked, and they better uh, fire the coach soon. Otherwise, Cleveland's going to have a winless season. And up. Like end up going 16 like the Detroit Lions years ago. That's it.